I wanted to talk to you a little bit about our awesome mop system. So whenever you order the package deal, you get the handle, you get the base right here, and then you get two mop pads. So this is the dry mop pad, and then you also get the wet mop pad. So the handle is actually, let me see it right now, this is as short as it goes, okay? So this is perfect for if you're short. Um, kids are, uh, what is she now? <laughs> Five-year-old daughter. She loves it at this size because she can help, help me some. And then it goes all the way up to this. So I don't use it this high, but this is about the size I need it at, which is nice that you can change it around for whoever's mopping. Um, and also the base here, it has a little lock. I don't know, it's hard to see, but it has a little lock. So if you don't have the lock on, it can go side to side. It can go up and down. Perfect for the floors. If you're gonna do like the walls to get like cobwebs, if you're gonna do windows or something, then you want to put this little lock on and then it'll only go up and down. It won't move side to side. So I'm gonna take that back off. Um, you can see right now that the mop pad I have off centered. So some people like to do it like this. So whenever they get close to the wall, it actually cleans the baseboard as they go. I personally like it more centered just because it drives me crazy that it's off center. Um, so whenever you're doing your floor, we suggest do them um, to clean it in a figure eight. So kind of like this. And that helps all the dirt and debris to stay to one side of the mop. So then once you get it all in a pile, you can just take like a wet enviro cloth or something like that and scoop it all up and then just dump it in the trash can. So then when you look at it, usually you'll have, you know, dirt, hair, whatever on this side. So then you can take the rubber brush here and just kind of go across it. That gets all the stuff that's stuck to it. Um, usually you do it over the trash can. I'm just doing it on the floor. Just to show you, this is, you know, the best way to help your mop pad go longer between washes. It knocks all the big stuff off and then you're ready to switch it to the wet mop pad to wash your floors. So I just stand on the corners of the mop pad and just pull it up. So it's Velcro and then I slide that away. I get my mop, my wet mop pad wet and then I wring it out. I just lay it on the floor and I put my mop right on top. So then again, kind of easier to do the figure eight. If there's um, like a sticky spot, you can kind of scrub it a little bit. Um, if there's something like a skid mark or like a really sticky spot, something like that, you can use this ball on the end and just kind of go at it on the floor like that and then go back to, to mopping the floor. This is much, much easier than your regular mop and bucket. And if you feel like your mop pad is getting too dry or too dirty, then you can just take it off, rinse it out, put it back on and keep going. So this is what comes in the package. So if you get the um, starter system, you get the mop handle, you get the mop base, and then you get a wet mop pad and a dry mop pad. There's other options that you can get. Um, we have a window mop pad for if you have like big windows or like glass doors. Um, we also have the chenille mop pad which I absolutely love it's perfect for like bigger crumbs or dog hair or like clumps of long hair if you have girls around um, I prefer this one for hair and just everyday stuff um, the dry mop pad I would suggest for almost like dusting your floor I like it to get like the smaller stuff that this might not get every time so same thing And then you're good to go and you can use the um, rubber brush again to dust it off and you can see once you use it you can see there's all this hair just stuck in in between these little fingers on here so it's it's really perfect for if you have um, a hair problem at your house so I hope you guys learned something new about the mop and let me know if you have any questions